kinematics 5 okay mostly in one dimension problem solving in the previous class we derived the equations of kinematics but there was one equation left out okay that is in a straight line if there is a constant acceleration a like this at t equals zero the initial velocity is u and at t at t let us say the velocity is v so these two are known to us and the distance is s here i want v as a function of s not as a function of time this is what you want okay and all the conditions remain same a is constant it doesn't change with time and motion in a straight line okay previously we had two relations v equals u plus at we had this is v as a function of time because you will be known to you a is a constant similarly we had s equals ut plus half half at square. square here this is a function of time here v is a function of time this only is called instantaneous any time anything is a function of time you got you have you call it instantaneous now v as a function of s we want in terms of u and a once again both integration and ordinary method we follow i'll tell you first of all a equals dv by dt we have do a little mathematical manipulation into ds by dsu in which case this becomes ds by dt into dv by ds ds by dt dv by ds this ds by dt is called v so a equals v dv by ds also okay so therefore when you write a equals v dv by ds take this ds this side a ds equals v dv because i want to have function v dv here function is here function is ds here integration If you want, you can write V dV on the left hand side. Doesn't matter actually, but V dV equals A dS. Integrate this U to V. Initial velocity is U. Some velocity time t is V. This is zero to S. You can also write S one to S two if you want, but that's enough. So this A is constant. Therefore, it comes out. 0 to s so v dv is like extra power n dx many times i'm using the same thing extra power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so this will be v to the power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 is v square by 2 between u and v this is a ds here it said if i did i'll do it in the second step as it is i right now in the second step v squared by 2 you see between u and v is equal to a into integral ds is s i told you many times by now yes sir 0 to s so substitute v first put a negative sign substitute u next 
here a into substitute s first in the place of s put zero again so what do we get now v square by 2 minus u square by 2 is equal to a s so v square minus u square by 2 equals hmm, a s so v square minus u square equals 2a is the third equation of kinematics. Right? So do that. Even when you are asked to derive such equation in intermediate first year exam or 11th exam, you need to do this way. This is the most proper way of doing it. But to avoid integration, once again, you can do something. And a second way, easier way from v equals u plus a t, we have v minus u equals a t, or it first equation from a c equals v plus u by 2 into t, which we wrote as average velocity into time, v plus u equals 2 into s by t, which is 2, multiply 1 by 2 v minus u into v plus u equals a t into 2 s by t a square minus b square this is t cancelling 2 a s so this is the first method i prefer you people this is the easier second method so that is one more relation for v v as a function of s v equals u plus a t is v is a function of time here you can also write v square equals u square plus 2as. So here v is a function of s. Shivacharan, are you there? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Tell me. So can you hear me? Ah, I can. Yeah. Yes, sir. Zuhair, are you there? Respond. Yes, sir. Okay. Jawahar. <laughs> Damodar. One fellow joined after I put a message. So, I'll anyway, uh, late after finishing, I'll give a summary of the formulas again and comment on that. Okay. But let me derive one more equation. Here, remember, V is unknown. U is known. A is known. S is a variable. So, V as a function of S, we are writing. V, a variable, S variable, the way we wrote it. Because in the problem, it is mentioned that initial velocity is known, acceleration is known. So, if you know that, how to get V after distance S is the question there. Thanks. 
right other children yes sir none sir right one more equation i want to tell displacement during n second or rather since i am talking about anyway straight line but it's okay no problem displacement during n second look of course a constant straight line say i'll ask you a simple question in 10 seconds from the beginning lakshab should i invite you every day why are you joining late what's happening to you ha huh? see 10 seconds the distance covered is in a straight line is say 120 meters but in the first 9 seconds the distance covered is 115 for example what is the distance covered during 10 second 5 meters 5 meters so this is the idea based on which we'll be doing this s n t equals s in n seconds minus s in n minus 1 seconds do you follow this is what distance in nth second what is this distance in n seconds you know the difference between nth second and n seconds this is distance in what n minus 1 seconds do you understand this one yes right so s n t equals s n u n plus half a n square do you agree u t plus half a d square that's all u into n minus 1 plus half into a into n minus 1 whole square so do the calculation i am not going to tell you and see if you got this expression i may be giving it wrong so just don't copy it directly get it if you getting it all of you then this is right otherwise we'll change it you know you need to simplify do you understand what i was asking you u into u n minus u a n minus 1 whole square means n square plus 1 minus 2 n then multiply with a half a open the bracket there is calculation do you follow children huh yes sir uh, yes sir few steps in the middle just follow manasa are you there yes sir okay suhita yes right proceed so i am waiting for you to complete the calculation center but even that you did not know how to do you ask me i'll show you ha huh? un plus half a n square will be there as it is yeah i think it's 2 n minus 1 right minus 
first step you multiply like this u n minus u plus half a into n square plus 1 minus 2n. Second step, do this un plus half a n square minus un minus u half a n square plus half a minus a n. Okay, then remove the bracket so signs will change un plus half a n square minus u n plus u minus half a n square minus half a plus a n right hello so u n yes, u n goes what else goes half a n yes, half a n square goes right so what am I left with? U plus a n minus half a. So u plus a into n minus half or not? So this is a calculation I was asking you to do. Children. Yes, sir. Now I'll go for a summary of the equations and uh, uh, some kind of a discussion we'll do. Huh? Yes. I'll, I'll fill the whole uh, uh, screen again and I'll tell you how to use them, what is the speciality of these equations, what are the conditions on which, under which we'll use this. I'll just give a proper summary of the formulas there. What equations do you call them? Equations of kinematics. Or you can also call them as equations of motion in kinematics. Because they describe the motion, right? Equations of motion in kinematics. So when I said equations of kinematics are equations of motion in kinematics, what do I mean by that? I'll have only here what? U, V, A, T, S like that. No mass. All right. Whenever you think of equations of kinematics, never mass will come, force will come. Only velocities, acceleration, time, acceleration, S, time and one more thing I can write. Path. These things only will be the kinematical quantities. Okay, now here we discuss a specific case. What first thing is motion is in a straight line. Motion is in a straight line. And what is the second thing? A is constant. So when you do a question, you need to bear these two things in mind. Okay. Now, the first equation. V equals U plus A. You need to understand that there is no S in it. In this formula, right? Everything else is there. U is there, V is there, A is there, T is there. This is not there. Okay. Yes, sir. Second equation, S equals U plus V by 2 into T you can write first because sometimes even without A you can use this. It is also equal to U plus UT plus half AT square. Isn't it so? Hello. V equals U plus sure. AT. We put we substitute V equals U plus AT here. You get this. But I can also write it as Vt minus half a t square children. By writing u equals v minus a t. If you substitute u equals v minus a t in this. See, how did you get ut plus half a t square children? By substituting v equals u plus a t. Am I correct? 
Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, but substitute u equals v minus at, you get vt minus half at square. Because minus had come, don't say this is deceleration, children. Because I'm writing in terms of the final velocity minus minus k and here. Okay. And look, this equation doesn't have a here. This equation doesn't have v here. This, this equation doesn't have no u. Then third one, v square is equal to u square plus 2as. Fourth one, s in n second is u plus a into n minus half. So all this will be used by us in solving some scores of problems. After which we can generalize these equations and talk more. So actually that vectors assignment I promised you, but it so happened it's not on my iPad. It miss, I missed it actually. So I was asking them to find out from the office there, college office, but they are not able to find because the tagging is not good by them. So 180 questions assignment I had that uh, somehow I missed it from the iPad. So that assignment tomorrow probably I'll get somehow. But remember, apart from that, this assignment also, now these assign assignments will be added. Ah. So okay. did, did you understand this one? Yes. How, how I got VT minus half a D square. Generally, people don't know this. I mean, they ignore it. But what I was trying to tell you was, whenever you look at a problem, you need to know which, which equation you should bring in. Actually speaking, once you're okay with the physics of it, automatically you can uh, bring a formula. But in the beginning, you might even go a little logical. Okay, in this problem, I don't have S, so can I use V equals U plus AT? In this problem, I don't have this, can I use this? That kind of a little, uh, what you call, uh, some kind of a guesswork also will be okay in the beginning. Okay, so that's what my commentary is about. So, are we ready for questions now? Yes, sir. One minute. Yeah. But don't look for uh, me to solve the question so that you copy it. You uh, talk, actually, you'll understand it better. So, can I continue? More yeah, sir. Right. Others? Yes. Now, yes. exercise and problems. Why am I naming it as exercise and problems? Exercise will be simple substitution type. Problems will be somewhat tricky. An exercise problem looks very easy. It is for the sake of exercising, right? Just to warm up. But problems have to be thought about properly. So I'll mix them up. Huh? But I told you already, don't think that sir will write a question and he will do it and we'll copy it. Your participation actually makes it more meaningful. Okay. Right. Tell me, you want a problem or exercise in the beginning? 
Ganesh? Sir. You want an exercise Let's problem? Let's start from exercise, sir. <laughs> that only, all right. Okay. A body starts from rest and moves with a uniform acceleration. Okay, find the ratio of the distances, ratio of the distances covered in one second two seconds and three seconds from the start. So Ganesh, just keep your, the yes. formulas side by if you want. Yes, sir. Actually, after the class, you people just take a paper, nice paper and make a list of the formulas and stick it for some time for two to three days. I'll be doing only this. So what kind of a formula I can apply from the problem you read here? Sir, uh, we can to use u huh? plus one by Sn equals to. No, you did not understand the question that way properly. Sir, sir we can one use... second, two seconds, three seconds from the start. It is in, not during. Yes, and sir. from S the start, I put Amar, 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 isn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, so, which formula? S equals to ut plus half it is square. That's enough, right. Do you all understand? Hello, others? Yes. So, what should I write? S, S in one second. U is zero. Zero. Yes, sir. Zero. Plus half. A, we don't know. A. Yes. P square. One. So, how much is it? Now, see, actually, when I put subscript think it is in during I mean, in one second if you put yes, uh, superscript think it is during that second okay okay sir. Uh, okay sir s2 if i put this way during two seconds you can during the second second you can think otherwise it is in two seconds in three seconds like that s in two seconds will be how much zero plus half a, a sir. into four a, a two, two a sir two a two a right S in three seconds. Nine by two, yes, sir. Nine by two, yes. Yes. So ratio S in one is S in two is S in three will be what? A by two is to two A is to nine A by two. Isn't it? Yes. Hello. Yes. So A goes. So one by two is to 2 is to 9 by 2. Can I write it as 1 is to 4 is to 9? You need to multiply with LCM. So this is the nature of a uniformly accelerating motion if u is 0. Do you understand? Hello? Yes, sir. Like, I just want to uh, talk more about the problem than just giving the answer say in a straight line u is zero huh in one second two second three second do you understand yes sir. In one second if it covers some two meters huh? in two seconds from here how much does it cover one is to four is to nine i told you eight meters eight meters in three seconds from there, how much it will cover? From the beginning, every, every time. 18. 18. 18. That's what, that's what it means. Do you follow? Yes, sir. Uh, so anytime accelerated motion, when you want to visualize in terms of the distance and the time or the space and time, you should think if it is acceleration, positive acceleration, that is speed is increasing, the later distance will be 
longer. Okay. Yes, sir. So can I continue then? Yes, sir. Right. Look at these things as, as some exercise to understand the accelerated motion in a visual way. Now, two. Can I go to the two, second one or not, children? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. In problem one or in question one, find the ratio of the distances during first, second, and third seconds of the motion. Now, Amar, that formula, right? Yes, sir. Right. So, Amar, you want to tell me how should I write? Yes, in first. Yes, yes sir. U plus. In this previous problem, U was zero. Huh? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, zero plus a into it, a by two, sir. A by two. Okay, okay, sir. That is a by two. Yes, in second, second. Two minus one by two. How much is this? Three, three a by two, sir. Yes, during third. Three minus one by two. Five a by two. So the ratio will be what? One is to three. One is to three is to five, sir. So you need to understand the difference between this question and the old question. Do you follow? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, sir. Yes. Sir, so like I couldn't follow the difference between the first question and the second question, sir. Okay, we'll take certain numbers. Huh? A equals how much? For example, you tell me. So it are two meters per second square I put. Huh? Hello. Yes, sir. Look at this question. I'm an old question you look at. In the one second, how many, how much distance? Yes, in one equals half a t square. How much is this? One. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, in two half a t square. How much is that? Four. So, yes, in three seconds. Half two into Nine. Nine. Okay. So in one yes, second, yes. one. In four seconds, sorry. In two seconds, four. From here to here, four. Huh? So yes, from here yes, to here, yes. how much? Three. Right? In nine, in three seconds, yes. nine. Nine from beginning to here. So how much is this here? 9 minus 4, five. 5. So during 1, 2, 3 seconds, 1 is to 3 is to 5. But in 1, in 2, in 3, it is 1 is to 4 is to 9. Tell me now. Yes, I got it. Sir. Right. In one second, in two seconds, in three seconds, the beginning is different from during first second, during second second, during third second. Third second. So that once you visualize it by drawing a figure there, that's going to be the uh, test for your understanding. Huh. So if you finished it, I'll continue. Yes, sir. Yes.
so i want your participation like this i don't want you to discontinue it because uh, that's like uh, uh, one way affair so one way love mm, that won't work so can i continue children for the next question sure yes sir right third a body starts from rest and moves with the uniform acceleration acceleration in a straight line okay find the yes, ratio sir. of the distances covered huh in every 2 seconds interval in every 2 seconds interval do you follow my point yes sir so what do i do what formula should i bring sir by using is equal to u to plus half ha s equals to u to plus half into 2 plus half a is unknown t square 4 how much is this this in the first interval two a sir this one i'll say Two A. Two A. It's in the second interval. Second interval means I should find four. out in the next two. Yes, sir. So I'll find out S for four seconds actually. Yes, sir. Because initial velocity in that case would be zero. Yes, sir. Do you follow? If I, if I want to find out the next two, I should get an initial velocity. U equals zero. In two seconds. the body covered 2a 2a in the next 2 seconds if i have to find out i should get this velocity here isn't it because u is not zero here yes sir but if i take from here i can still take initial velocity will be zero in but in that zero. case the total time will be 4 seconds all right hello y yes sir yes so sir in 4 seconds s equals 0 into 4 Plus half a into four square, eight a. Eight a. That means this is two a. This is eight a. So what is this? Six a. Do you follow? Yes, sir. Yes, Now, sir. Now, in four after four, six seconds. S equals zero into six plus half a into six square. How much? Thirty-six. That means from the beginning, eighteen a. So in the next two seconds, how much? Ten. Eight a. Eighteen a minus. Sorry, eight a. Eight a. Eight a. Did I do it properly? Four. Sixteen, two, eight, eight a. So eight a here, so six a here. In the next uh, two seconds, total is how much? Two plus two, four, six. Thirty-two. Thirty-six uh, only, right? Thirty-two. Thirty-two, huh? sir. How much is thirty-two, sir? Thirty-two, yeah. 
this is uh, six That's seconds six, i told no 64 sir 64 sir next eight seconds eight square 64 na sir this is four seconds six seconds yes, so sir, is this, is this correct i am saying 0 into 6 plus half a yes, into 6 square 36 ha huh? 18 a so 18 a minus 8 a how much is that 18 a minus 10 sir 10 sir 18 minus uh, 8 a no from the beginning 18. how much yes sir 10 sir 10 a there isn't it so just check, check the ratio 2a 6a 10a what am i getting 1 10a 1 is to 3 is to 5 sir 5 you take do one more you'll get 7 so can you conclude something from here look at the previous question and conclude from something from here yes sir the the not only during, not, during, not, not, not only number, during sir. not only during one interval of time successive one interval times any equal intervals of time if you take the ratio will be 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 7 only if i did say first the 3 seconds yes, next 3 seconds yeah, next 3 ratio. seconds also i'll get 1 is to 3 is to 5 you can check to 3 is to 5 is to 7 is to 9 like that you can go on doing it so that is these are some properties of uniformly accelerated motion I don't know whether people understood it. Did you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, can I go to next question? Yes, sir. Sir, sir. Hmm. Sir, if they give in one second, then we could. Can we use both for formula, sir? Inak, first I need to understand your question. Tell me. Sir, like ah uh, ah uh, in the last, they told the ratio of distances covered in every two second interval, no, sir. Instead, every two second was... interval. Are you very three second interval? Every four second interval? Every one second interval? No problem. Sir, like I'm asking, if it was one second interval, can we use the other form as well? S n is equal to that one. That will be used. No, why are you? That during first, second, third means what? One second interval only, right? Yes, sir. Ah. Huh. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Isn't it? Yes, sir. The wording was slightly different. Huh? Yes, sir. Isn't it so? During yes. first, the second, third means interval is how much? One second, yes. So that's what you need to, uh, what you understand about the uniformly accelerated motion when initial velocity is zero. You start from rest. In every equal interval of time, that rate, that distances ratio, you keep finding out. It is all. It will always come as one is to three is to five is to seven is to nine is to yes. eleven, like that. You get. Do you follow? Okay, yes, I'll go for another question. Like, why am I stressing so much? Is once you understand the meaning of the problems you are doing, next problem becomes easier. Not only that, you got an answer and a mark there, but you are building up, building up the ideas, information, tools for the. Tougher and future problems. Uh, this is what you mean by knowledge. Knowledge is already there. You are making a part of your thinking. But if you do it information way, you do this, forget it. You do that, forget it. You do this, forget it. And if there is no connection, if there is nothing, uh, you learn from it. Uh, that actually makes the studies actually boring. You don't know. Many people. Uh, have a problem uh, uh, in doing physics because of that. Okay, I'll give another question. Body is moving 
along a straight line with a constant acceleration a constant acceleration a okay find the difference in the distances in the difference in the distances covered during any two successive seconds first let me uh, convince myself that you followed the question inok yes sir did you follow the question okay anyone else what yes. is he asking what is he asking of course i did not say it is uh, starting from rest that means you may be there right yes sir yes sir uh, yes see when you look at a question the first step is the picturing the question whether you picture it in your mind whether you picture it on the new, uh, on the paper doesn't matter uh i have to picture it, it on the paper because right? i don't know i can you cannot see the picture in my mind right even for yes, you sir. also to picture in the mind sometimes difficult so you can show it on the paper but if you want to do it fast picturing in the mind is enough okay but you is equals to v right sai tashil tell me uh Here u is equals to v, right? U equals v, right? What do you mean by that? Uh, no, sir. I'm asking that uh, here u is equals to v, right? Zero is not given. I don't know whether you're saying zero or I'm not able to hear you properly. But say initial velocity is u equal to. It's not there. It's not zero. It's not mentioned. Huh? Hello. Yes. Hmm. only thing which is given in the question is a nothing else is given find the difference in the distances covered during any two successive seconds sir so uh, about during any two successive seconds this this whole thing if you understood our job is done amar yes sir Are you still? You, you can tell which question, formula to use anyway. Huh? So does the question mean that uh, any two consecutive seconds, like one yeah. and two or two or three? Yeah, three or, or four, three four or, or five. Huh? So any I can't say four, I can't check with two and three, three and four like that. No, I should say s during n second equal equals u plus a into a into n plus one n minus one by two. Yes, sir. Two s. Next one is n plus one at second. Succeed in that one, you know. After n, n plus yes, one. Sir. A into plus a. Yes, sir. Do you agree, Amar? Yes, sir. Computers. How much is this? Sir, three. Sir, total difference is two years, sir. Sir, I got two years, sir. You cannot <laughs> check it properly, huh? You should not.
So Amar, check it again. Hmm? Okay, Sorry, sir. Look, A by 2 here, plus A by 2 there, it will be A. Everything else gets cancelled. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I substitute one in n, n plus one and two, sir. What number? Sir, I, I substitute uh, the numbers one and two in nth place, sir. One and two, if you put also, you'll get it. Huh? To make ourselves sure that it is valid for any other successive seconds, so we put n and n plus half. If you put one and two, why will you get uh, like that? I'll show you now. S in one equals u plus a into one minus half, right? Huh? Yes, sir. S in two equals u plus a into two minus half, right? Yes, sir. So this is how much? u plus 3a by two, right? Minus u plus a by 2, right? Hello? Yes, so sir. So, 3a by 2 minus a by 2. That is 2a. No, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> 2a by 2 is yes, a. I, I take 2 as common and not uh, cancel it, <laughs> sir. So. Uh, but if you do for 1 and 2, you may not be knowing whether it's true for 3 and 4 or for 5 and 6, right? Yes, sir. I do 3 and 4 also, sir. I have <laughs> you can't go on doing. But anyway, no problem. So doing like this in algebra is, algebra is good. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Right. How about others? How about yes, others? Yes, yes sir. sir. So, can I go to the next question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir? Yeah? Uh, between two and its successive second minutes, it can be any two, the difference may be anything, no, sir. Yeah. Like n and n plus two. Two successive seconds will be, how can it be n and n plus two? Like the interval should be. Same. And two, two consecutive, actually. So it can be no. 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 4 and 5, 6 and 7, 8 and 9, like that. Not 2 and 4 and 6 like that, isn't it? Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Got it. Right? Yes, sir. So I'll go to the next question. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Sir? Yeah? In the before question, I have a doubt, sir. Tell me. Sir, what if it, uh, it will be uh, two successive odd seconds, sir, or odd or even seconds? Oh, how did they do it? Huh? Do it, okay. I'll do that question only. He's saying, uh, what if uh, uh, the successive odd seconds are taken? Uh, yes, sir. Continuing the first the previous problem. Have you understood this? What if the yes, successive odd seconds are taken? Okay. Yes, sir. Write down uh, uh, who is that fellow? Ask the question. Ganesh. Ganesh. Yes, sir. Okay. S in N will say. N is odd, will say. Yes. Right. So N is odd here in this case. Is it okay? This n can be third, for example. I'll write it as u plus a into n minus half as it is. So if n is odd, what is the next odd? Plus two. Huh? N plus two. N plus two. N plus two. Right. That will be u into a plus n plus two 
minus half. So this will be how much? U plus a into. Tell me. N plus three by two. N plus two minus half, isn't it? So how much is this? N plus three by two. N plus three by two, sir. Is it correct? Two minus half, right? So S N plus two minus S N should be equal to U plus A N plus three A by two, right? Minus U minus A N plus A by two. Is it okay? Uh, is that fellow's name? So how much is this? Two A. Yes. It's good. Actually, uh, you can form your own questions now. That's a very, very good sign. The best way to learn is after doing few questions, can you frame new questions? Only people jumped off the meeting. I don't know. All right. Take that as well. So, okay, can somebody create a question now on their own on these equations? Hello? Sir, I have a doubt, sir. Huh? Sir, like if it is all that we have to take 2n plus 1, now, sir. Why did we took n? Like for all numbers. What are you mixing 2n plus up 1 with? and 2n plus 3. In the same question, this n is n itself is odd here, right? Yes. Uh, the next odd is what? N plus two. That's all. N plus one is even. Next. So n plus two is. Yes. Sir. So what was the question actually about? All right then. Hmm. So many people are just simply getting out of the meeting. I mean, I can see and what, what is this? It's not a good uh, sign. People just going before the class is finished. The bad thing. Okay, I'll close it. We'll meet day after tomorrow. Yes. Sir. Tomorrow, let me see if I can find the assignment. Otherwise, I'll send a short assignment for vectors anyway. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, children. Thank you, sir. 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 Thanks, children. Bye.